just a cut and my best bow is down. You gotta help me. Come on, I need it. And also, I'm in a real pickle here. Do you have any pop bow with chip bones? My mom didn't pack a lunch for me today. No, Andy, I don't have any pop bow or chip bows. And why are you cutting lawns? What happened to Double Play, your baseball card shop? I do both, Terrell. Double Play, lawn care, and collectibles, and rookie cards, and baseball cards, and other stuff, you know. I pretty much show up at the old lady's house, cut a grass, then sell a Ryan Sandberg rookie card. It's pretty sweet. That sounds terrible. Hey, by the way, you wouldn't happen to have any Dick Butt Kiss Funko Pops, would you? I don't know who that is. The best I can do, Raleigh Fingers headline. The box is a little dented though. I don't want that. So what's wrong with your little toy mower? What toy mower? I don't see anything. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, my mower, that's hilarious. You know what, can you uh, check it over? It won't start, maybe just see what's up with it. Okay, I'll look at your little toy mower. Okay, great. But you know, I don't expect anything for free, so I'm gonna work it off. Do you got anything for me to do around here? You know what, Andy? This one's out of the house. You don't need to help me around here. <laughs> Knucklehead? I'm sorry, Daryl. Are you mad at me? Oh, kinda. Quit messing with stuff in my shop. I know, but I'm just trying to help clean up around here. You know, just help you out. Oh, oh, Andy, Andy. oh I'm sorry, Daryl. I just made a mess. You got one of those things that soaks up the oil? Oh, oh there's one right there. Andy, Andy! Pterodactyl here, and today's video is going to be on this little baby toy mower, 14 inch sensation with a three horsepower brakes and scrap them on it. So this blower shroud had been changed, so I don't know the exact year, but I'm guessing it's probably early 70s. But this is considered a cemetery mower. That's why it's so teeny tiny. It was for mowing between the headstones. And look at it, it's tiny. So we're gonna get it running. And of course, like anything, there's you know groups that collect these sensation mowers, I found out, and uh, they restore them. So I guess this is kind of a sought after mower because it's so tiny. It looks like a toy, don't it? And of course, you know, again, there's a lot, of, a lot of rock songs that were written about these mowers. The Who, The Who had one called I'm a Sensation. Remember that song? You can feel me coming, a new vibration. Must have a bent crankshaft, I'm a sensation. Remember that from Tommy? That was about this lawnmower. This lawnmower brand, Sensation. So we're going to get this thing running. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to check for spark. So let's see if this baby got some spark. I'm going to put my little handy dandy spark tester on there. And we got it on fast, and let's see if that baby lights up. Oh, yeah. So it feels like it's got compression. The muffkin is all destroyed. So I think I got a new one. Take the air cleaner off. Check this out. Oop. Oh, look. Look at that. 
Oh, look at, oh, look, look at that. Air cleaner, it's just, must be the original one. It's, it's trash. Okay, I have to get a new one of them. All right, we'll set that aside. Now this has got that auto choke carburetor on it. We did some videos on this. Now that seems to be working. Take a peek in the gas tank. Well, the fuel don't look bad. The tank is clean. It's not all rusted out. So this thing is probably still being used. Let's see if we got any dinosaur syrup in there. Oh, look at that, empty. Now it's not totally empty, but it's about empty. All right, so let me put some oil in it and then we'll uh, see if we can get it started. Okay, I put some dinosaur syrup in it. And another thing I'm gonna do before I attempt to start is I'm gonna check the head bolts. Cause these old mowers, the head bolts like to stretch on them. So I always like to check them. And if you're repairing, repairing these mowers in your shop, it's a good practice to, on these flat heads, L heads, flat heads, whatever you want to call them, to go around and check the head bolts. All right. Oh, that's from the oil. I'm gonna give it a little help, put a little carb spray in there and see if we can get it to lick off. Get out of my way. Woo! Woo! Runs and dies. That gas might be old in it. Might have to rebuild the carburetor. Drain that fuel out, put some fresh fuel in it, see if we can get it to start. It still don't start. Light enough. Pick it up with one hand and then make a mess. I mean, it's old. Let me get one of my mats. All right, put new dinosaur juice in it. Let's see if we can get it to stay running. Sounds like it might need a valve job. All right, let's pull the carburetor off. So this carburetor comes off real easy. One bolt in the front, which is already missing, so I don't need that socket, and one here on the side. And then there's a little spacer back here. So you take the one off in the front, one on the side, you wiggle it just a little bit. And then we have to get the link out and then snake it out of there. And there's that little spacer that goes in there. Now one thing I want to check is this pipe. This intake pipe, make sure that's not loose and it's tight. So now let's just take this carburetor on the bench and take it apart. Simple as that. All right, so let's take these screws out. I did hundreds of these back in the day. When I worked at Ferrell shop, late 70s, early 80s. He's around everything. I 
kind of sounded like a little little exhaust mist too on that on that engine like it might need a valve job we can get it to run on this then we'll be able to tell if it needs a valve job or not and you take this off you're supposed to take a screwdriver like this and pop that off of there maybe this diaphragm is just hard as a carp now there's not supposed to be any fuel in this area it's a little wet but that might just be for me taking it apart and get a q-tip clean that out the diaphragm's not hard it should have worked still pliable just gonna put it back together try it again now you're supposed to put preload supposed to take this out whenever you change one of these and you're supposed to put preload on this auto choke and you're supposed to do that by putting a screwdriver in there and holding this thing open past you know that's center so you're supposed to go past that past center then you're supposed to tighten down all these screws And then when you get done tightening them, there's the police or an ambulance or a fire truck. And then that's supposed to spring back. That's how you know when you did it right. That's supposed to spring back like that. And then when you run it, with the air filter off, you're still supposed to have the screw in there. Let's check this. Should be one and a half turns. There's a half, there's one, and a half, and a little more, like one and three quarter. So it should have started. I don't think it has enough compression. and uh, try it again. Now this is a little tricky because of this handle bracket in the way. I get the link in there. There we go. My little spacer and then I'll get a bolt for the front. Maybe that had something to do with it, that bolt being missing. So let me go find a bolt for the front. We'll try this thing again. I'm going to try it without giving it any help. open that screw a little more you know if, it, if you open it too much it's just gonna run rich and then you can always lean it out
smoke some, well, it's old. So the next thing we're going to do is put a muffkin on it. So I need to get this old muffkin off. Let me try some channel locks here, because this is destroyed. There we go. They're hot. Yeah, it's a little warm. Not too bad. We didn't run it long enough. Now I should have a new one, new old stock. And I believe I got a new air filter. So here's the new muffkin. And there's not even a part number on it. 394 five six nine and that's a s as in sensation you can feel me coming a new vibration must have a bad crankshaft i'm a sensation pete townsend wrote that he had one of these mowers pete he called me one time so he's having trouble with it it wasn't this little cemetery mower, it's a bigger one. Let's start it again. Woo! So it must have enough compression because it started again. Usually if it gets hot and it won't start, because it's losing compression. You can see it smokes, so probably needs rings. It's old. If I was to restore this, if I owned it, which I don't, and I was going to restore it, yeah, I would re-ring it, which isn't that hard to do. It's just a small engine. Let's take a look at the blade. So there's a little baby blade on there. And then got wheel adjusters. You have to take each wheel off to adjust the cutting height. And another thing with these sensations, which was kind of nice, is the way this handle flips. So if you were mowing and you got to the end of the row, you just flip the handle over, and then you go back the other way. Then you just flip the handle over, so that way when you get to the end of the row, you're not doing this. You just flip the handle back and forth. So you know who else did a song about these mowers? Was In Excess. Remember that? They had a song. And I'll sing a few bars for you. Mo, baby, mo! Now that the mower is running! New sensation, new sensation, yeah! Mo, baby, mo! Now that the mower is running, like a new sensation, new sensation, wow! So I got a new air filter for it, and the part number for this is 270579S, as in sensation because this is a new filter for the new sensation. <laughs> get it? So what I like to do, or not what I like to do, is what they tell you to do, is you have to put, soak this in oil. Not soak it, but it's gotta have oil on it. And what that does is the oil, the dirt sticks to the oil. So you just don't take this new filter and just put it in there. You're supposed to oil it. And the way I like to oil it is I like to put it in a bag. So that way if you got dirty hands and you're squeezing the oil in this, you're not getting that your dirty hands all over your nice new clean filter. So you put a small amount in there. And if you put too much oil in it, you know, you just squeeze it out. But this makes it a lot cleaner when you do it this way in a bag.
And then when you take it out of the bag, if you, put, if you put too much in it, then just wrap it in a clean rag and squeeze out the excess. And this thing will be running like a new sensation, new sensation. There's a lot of songs written about it. Lou Reed too, but I don't want to do the Lou Reed one. He, he more like talks than sings. He's got a terrible singing voice, like mine. I wonder why I, I didn't get rich off of my singing. One time somebody asked me, Hey, Terrell, what'd you do with the money? And I'm like, money? What money? The money your parents gave you for singing lessons. Ha, 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 yeah, very funny. Then I punched the guy in the face. All right, I got the new air filter all installed back in its housing. And this is another little trick I'm going to show you. On these, just on this particular thing. Have it on fast. Because see when it's on stop, how this spring and everything is over here? And sometimes if you tighten it down too tight, you'll end up pinching this and it won't move. So this way, if you got it on fast, it's out of the way. And put the screw in, put that on there. That's something that we used to do back at Feral Shop, again, back in the day. Tighten that down, and then, uh, what do you say we just take it out and mow a little bit with this ghoulish mower? It's kind of a ghoulish mower, ain't it? Because it's a cemetery mower. I wonder if it's haunted. I wonder when it was cutting the grass if it sucked up any spirits. Ooh, ooh it's a scatty, scatty mower. I could have swore that when I had this thing in the shop, I had it sitting here. And then when I came in the next day, it was over there. And I know I didn't move it. I'm just joking away. All right, let's go out and cut some grass. All right, we're on our way out to Podunk Cemetery. Oh, look what we have here. This looks like a fresh grave. Oh yeah, that's right. Junior was out here. He buried a weed eater alive. All right, here we are in Podunk Cemetery where there's a lot of dead lawn equipment buried out here. So we need to mow around these headstones. Right, got it on fast. Running like a new sensation, new sensation, yeah! Rest in peace, old lawn equipment, or rest in pieces. Well, there you have it. We got it running again like a new sensation, new sensation, wow! That didn't take too much to get this thing going again. Now I know if it was to be restored, you know, you would tear it apart, do a valve job, re-ring it, but we're not gonna do all that. 
It's not mine. It's a customer's. And he brought it in. A customer and a Terrell fan. So he brought it in and said, you know, get it running again. And that's what we did. Didn't need much. Muffkin, air filter. Just had old gas in it, so he must have been using it. And then I gave it a pressure scrubbing. And look, it looks, it looks pretty good. Again, this had been re replaced at one time. So back in the day, if you bought replacement parts from Brakes and Scrap Them, like this blower shroud that they had bought, it would come in this color. This is uh, like a primer. And then you could paint it to the color of the engine if you wanted to. So, you know, this engine's white, so you could have painted it white so it would match the mower. If you had a yellow engine or a black engine, then you can paint it that color. And then it would come with a foil, a foil sticker in there that you would stick on there. And then you would transfer the model type and code, all your blower shroud information, to that foil sticker, as they did here. But, of course, it's a foil sticker. It's not stamped in there like the original. So part of it came off. So that's why we don't know what year this is because that information is all missing. But that's what they would do. They would sell you the part in a primer color and then you could paint it if you desired to the color you need, to the original color. You know what I mean. So if you were gonna restore it, you know, try to find one that's got the model type and code on it. But yeah, nice, neat little, like toy mower. This would be easy enough to, to restore because there's nothing to it. It cleaned up pretty good. It's not all broken or busted up. For those collectors out there, that's why these are, this is a good little hobby, push mowers. If you're a grass rat out there, you want to get into this hobby, this is what I'd be doing. They don't take up a lot of room. You don't have to invest a lot of money into them. And if you can find some old antique piece of equipment like this, that's, you know, kind of neat looking because it's so tiny, like a toy. Yeah. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. I'm Crazy Terrell with the Graveyard Mower. Ooh, we should have did this around Halloween, but I don't think it was here then. Go to our web store, buy some of our merchandise. Get your uh, holiday sweatshirt. We've got them, you know. Christmas is just around the corner here. So get your holiday sweatshirt. I'm nice and toasty warm in this one. Comes in, also comes in red. Follow me with your ghoulish lawn equipment on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Got the sensation running again. You can feel me coming, a new vibration, must have a bit crunchier, I'm a sensation, I'm a sensation. Andy, Andy, Andy. Oh, 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 that's gonna leave a box. I hope that teach ya. I told you to quit messing with stuff. I'm sorry, Daryl, but I spilled some oil. I had to clean it up. Yeah, that's why I told you to leave stuff alone. Now go wait outside, and I'll have this thing done in a few minutes, and then for the love of Harbor Freight, don't touch anything. Okay, I'll go up front and wait, but I noticed these blades over here. They're not very organized. So, I'm gonna give you a hand with that. Andy, where are you going? No, 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 no! Oh, I really did it this time.